All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to reset animations when you power off your screen. This is going to require Tasker. I have experimented with KOWP only, trying to use the auto on, auto off, and um, the unlock, the SI locked code, and all that stuff, and I couldn't get it to work. But um, I had to use Tasker, and just to show you what I'm talking about, suppose I have some animation, and when I power off my screen, I want this stuff to go away automatically. So here's what I'm talking about. I've cut my screen off. I'm going to cut it back on. I'm going to unlock it, and notice those icons are gone. And notice this up here, percent unlocked is zero. This is going to change to one. This is a variable I'm cr I've created in Tasker. It's going to change to one whenever I press one of these buttons. For example, if I press this button, Notice it changes to one and we have some stuff animating. Well, watch what happens. This stuff's gonna go away and this is gonna go back to zero when I have my screen. When I cut it off, right now, a profile is being ran in Tasker. It's setting that percent unlocked back to zero. And you'll notice that as soon as I unlock my screen. Notice it says percent unlocked is zero and that's making this stuff go away. I can press any of these three buttons and watch this thing change to one. I can press this one and notice it changes to one, something animates, I power off my screen, I power it back on, and now we're going to see percent unlocked is zero and we don't see any icons. So let's go into Tasker and have a look at how to set this up. You're going to need two tasks. One task is, you can call it whatever you want, unlock. And basically, I'm creating a global variable in Tasker, variable set, percent unlock, set it to zero. You can set it to whatever you want. You can set it to off or whatever, but I'm just using zeros and ones. So use a global variable. You have to use a capital letter in your global or in your variable name to make it a global variable because we do need to use this, this uh, variable inside of other tasks. Once that thing is set to zero, we want to send that variable over to KOWP. And we can do that by sending that zero percent unlocked. We send it over to KOWP, call it whatever custom variable you want. But we want to use these same two pieces here in our other task as well. So let's go back and look at the other task. The other task is set unlock. That's what I called it. I can call it whatever you, you can call it whatever you want. And this one's going to be variable set percent unlock to one. So percent unlocked is either going to be a zero or a one. And I'm going to show you uh, the difference between them right here in a second. Once it's set to one, let's send it over to KOWP using the same stuff we did a moment ago. So now it's going to send a one over to KOWP with the same custom variable. All right, so make sure you use the same two pieces for that KOWP send variable. So basically, Tasker is going to be sending over a one or a zero. Well, when do we want it to send over a zero? I want Tasker to send this variable zero over to KOWP when my device screen is off, when my display is off. So under profiles, we can actually trigger a task to be ran when the display is off. You do that by going to plus, event, display, display off. So when our display is off, that's what I have set here, I want to trigger this task unlock. And remember that task unlock is going to set percent unlock to zero and it's going to send it over to KOWP. Now, the only time I want that percent unlock to change is when this task right here is ran. This task right here is going to be ran whenever I touch any of my buttons to make animations happen. So that's what's cool about Tasker. KLWP, it can, de it can detect when your device is locked and unlocked, but it's automatically going to change on its own. It's going to go from unlocked to locked or locked to unlocked based on what the phone is doing. However, the way I have this set up in Tasker, um, I'm making this variable here, percent unlocked, I'm making it stay zero once the device is off, and it does not change to one until I trigger this task right here. So it don't change to one until I make it change to one. It don't change to one automatically. It's gonna to change to one whenever I touch something. So let me show you how that's set up in KOWP. So inside of KOWP, what we want to do is everything that you have animating that you want to reset. For example, um, I have these two, this red and this green circle animating, that's my 1A and my 1B. So 1A, if I tap on that, that's this green circle here. Um, it's like an overlap group or whatever, but animation, um, go to formula, and inside of your formula, what you're gonna have to do is an and statement. Now, this right here is already what I have making this thing animate. So I guess it's worth me just sitting there showing you that. Basically, I have these things animating on a text global, so, 
or not text, but list global. So if I go over to globals, I have a list global. I have a one, two, three for button one, button two, button three. You don't even have to put a zero here. The zero is just for a way for me to reset them when my screen is on. But that's neither here nor there. So I do have some things animating based on a list global, which I've done some tutorials on. So back in items, let me go to that 1A yet again and go to its animation. And let's look at the formula. So there's two things that have to happen for this thing to animate. One, my list global has to be one. And this tasker variable, the variable that I'm sending over to KOWP, do you remember I called it screen? This thing has to be equal to one, which means percent unlocked has to be equal to one. So both of these conditions have to be met. That's what that and right there means. This has to be true and this has to be true for those circles to pop out. So if this is true and this is true, I want to animate it forward. If it's not, I want to send it back. So basically when I power off my screen, remember we have a profile ran to be run in Tasker. Uh, when we cut off our screen, this thing right here, the percent unlocked this custom variable screen, it becomes zero. So it's going to send these animations back when you power off your screen. Now, the only downside is this. If you power off your screen and then you cut it right back on immediately, maybe the stuff will still be animating back. But, you know, most of the time you're going to power off your screen and you won't come back for 10 minutes or something like that to check it. So everything's going to be reset. I hope that makes sense. Now, you have to apply this same code to all of the pieces that you want animating. You have to use an AND statement. For example, let me come and press the second group here. This is my second group. If I go back to my items, for example, let me go to 2B. 2B is this blue one. If I go to its animation, I go to scroll formula. Notice now my list global variable has to be equal to two and that percent unlocked, that custom variable I called screen over in tasker has to be equal to one. So if both of these things are true, it will animate out. Otherwise, it will go back. So if one of these things is not true, it's going to go back. And when we cut off our screen, automatically that profile and tasker is going to change this variable here to zero, which is going to make this stuff animate back. I hope that makes sense. So um, all that, I'm applying all that or that, that code to every single piece that I'm animating, whether it be these two icons or these two icons, I'm doing the same code, and then these two icons here. Um, let me just show you one of those, 3A, the yellow one, animation. Let me go to its formula, and now GVGo has to be equal to three, and that variable I created in Tasker has to be equal to one. Again, if one of these things is not true, it's going to animate it back. Both have to be true in order for this thing to animate forward. That's the logic of an and statement. Both have to be true for the statement to be true. All right, now, how do I change? Remember in Tasker, we had two tasks. One was automatically ran when we cut our device off, and the other one is run whenever we touch a button, or at least that's what I said is gonna happen. So if I go back to my buttons, for example, button one. Button one is this square that I have here. And you may have noticed when I touch it, it does say it's running a task shortcut. Well, I actually have two touches going on. So this button one for touch, I'm toggling my list global and I'm just automatically making that equal to a one because I want to trigger my little icons in this one group, if you will. But also what I have going on is I have a task shortcut being ran. So launch shortcut, task shortcut, and we want to trigger set unlock. Now remember what set unlock is going to do. That's going to change that percent unlock to one. So percent unlocked remains zero. When you cut your screen on, percent unlocked is still going to be zero because we have not changed it. We only change percent unlocked to one whenever we touch this button. And you may notice now, or let me show you now, button two is going to have two touches to it as well. It's toggling the global switch, the list global, and I'm making that two but then I'm also doing that exact same task shortcut where I'm setting unlock and it's setting it to one. Now you may say, okay, why am I applying this shortcut, this task shortcut to all of these buttons? Why am I doing this touch right here for all of them? Well, when you unlock your device, you might not always press the same button. You might press this button or you might press this button or you might press this button. So we have to apply that to all of our buttons so that we can always set that percent unlock to one. 
Now you may say, okay, well, what's going to happen if I press this one, then I press this one? It's not going to change anything in Tasker because percent unlocked is already going to be one once, whenever you press one of these buttons. And the only time percent unlocked goes back to zero is when you cut your device off, when you cut your screen off. I hope that makes sense. So if I save this, I go back to the home screen. Of course, those are going to be animating out. And now notice when I press these, I do have everything animating. Percent unlocked is not changing. The only time it goes back to zero is when I do that. So that profile is being ran. Percent unlocked is now going to be zero, as you can see, and we have no icons. The only time this will become a one, I can press this button, this button, or this button because I have that task shortcut being ran. So I can press any button I want, boom, percent unlock becomes one. So we have that and condition being met. We have, you know, in this case, the list global is three and percent unlocked is one because this button changes both of those pieces. Now, when I press this, the list global becomes two, percent unlocked is one. So if the list global was two and percent unlocked is one, I have both of these animating. But again, as soon as I cut it off, percent unlocked becomes zero, so that and statement is now false in my code, which is why we don't have any icon showing. And as you can see here, percent unlocked is back to zero. And that's the trick. That's the hurdle I had to get around. You, we had to find a way to create a variable that changes when we cut our screen off, but it doesn't change automatically when we cut our screen back on. And by us triggering that task here to change that percent unlock, that lets us change it when we want to change it. It doesn't automatically change when we unlock our device. I hope that makes sense. I hope you do see why Tasker is useful here. If you're able to figure this out without Tasker, please share. But um, I, I couldn't wrap my head around it, so that's why I had to resort to Tasker. And there you have it. That's how you can reset animations using Tasker and KOWP when your screen is off. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.